Hi there. So in this video, I wanted to give a brief tour of the Brightspace course template that you can use and adapt to your own context if you choose. So let's take a look. All right, so the students will probably enter the course looking at the syllabus. And so they get a welcome. They can start out with a welcome video that orients them a little bit to the course. In this case, it's also a tour of this Brightspace course template for you to watch, but you're already doing that. And the syllabus itself. Now, this is in a Word document here uh, so that you can take it and adapt it if you choose to do so, uh, but I would typically post it here as a PDF version for the students in the course. Now, if we look along the left hand menu bar, there's the course uh, syllabus and class information, each of the modules or chapters or sections that we'll be doing in the course. Quizzes and class notes serve as quick links in the course, discussion forum and resources. So if we go into module one next, this section is going to guide the students in chronological or the recommended order uh, through the module itself. So it starts out the same way in each case in the module. So video or text to watch or read before the class starts. Next up is a quiz that reviews the key concepts that they've just seen in that video or text. After that, they'll see the class notes that I post uh, ahead of time in the class. So whatever problems we're going to be working on, whatever discussions, I post some sort of an outline ahead of time. And then those synchronous classes, uh, we'll be posting the recordings here after each of the classes. Finally, the week wraps up with a problem set uh, with answers. And in uh, this particular course would be optional for the students. And again, you could choose to adapt that to your own course template or course context. So next up, module two. It's organized in exactly the same way. And so it's the videos, there would be the quiz next, class notes and recording, uh, and the problem set for the students to do at the end. Now, even though these modules guide the students in chronological order, sometimes they're just in class and they just need to get to things really, really quickly, or they know that quizzes do, they just wanna to get to it. That's when they can enter at, these, at this left menu bar just to access those things they need right as they need it. The discussion forum, which can be organized in a number of different ways. This one's organized first by general course questions, and next uh, by module one questions, uh, etc. Finally, the resource section, again, can be organized in a number of different ways. Uh, this particular one is organized by, by topic. So first, excelling in online learning with the idea that students may be uh, comfortable online, but maybe not proficient as learners online. And so there are some resources there that you may want to use. Next up, some course specific resources, for example, in organic chemistry, the Evans PKA table is a common one, and you could populate that as you, as you saw fit. And then the U Ottawa specific resources. So that's the content in the course. Next thing you might want to look at is setting up a series of announcements. So maybe a welcome announcement, uh, periodic updates for the students. Um, you could set up tips or reminders. And these are all things you can either set up as you go or you can set up to release and to close ahead of time. Quizzes, if you're going to be making and setting up uh, some quizzes. The class list, once it gets populated. Let's take a quick look at the grade section. So in the grades, we can go into the manage grades portion. And this has all been pre-populated with a, a suggested possibilities for the course. And again, you could modify this as you saw fit. Finally, in the course administration section, uh, this is where you can find all the tools that are available to you uh, in the course. You can also find tacos. You can't find any tacos. That's my son who's come in to help out. Really, he just you pulled out and interrupted. Tacos. So that's the quick tour. I hope that this template can be useful to you at all. And, and as always, uh, always welcoming any suggestions or corrections as you, as you see them arise.